Any new developments report? No, nothing new. You know, day five. Today was, uh, you know, we got, I thought, good work Friday and Saturday, and then today was, uh, was our first uh, half scrimmage type of situation. It was controlled. It was just, you know, it was controlled sim situations. We, we worked, uh, had a little first, first and ten, win or loser, uh, you know, plus or minus four battle. We had, uh, we had some, some second down. Uh, play third down, depending on how what, what you did on second down situations. We had some four down territory, two downs to get it, you know, situations. We had third down. I mean, we tried to just make sure that we got enough situational work today uh, to, to coach and teach off of. And um, uh, but it was good. It was good. A lot of good things. A couple guys out today, fitting us a little bit uh, with a couple of minor injuries. But uh, you know, I, I think. Just again, after five days, this is a, a team that that uh, is going to be fun to coach. You know, they 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 want to be good. Uh, we're we're not very good right now, but they want to be good, and uh, we're talented. You know, so I, that's that's the positive. It's probably as balanced a team as I've had in the spring. You know, just competitively, uh, we only got ten guys that aren't here and that, that'll come this summer. So you know, the, the team is pretty much here. Uh, and the first group on both sides very balanced, and the, the backups are kind of similar, so it's very competitive. Uh, and so if you don't come out here with the right mindset, ready to compete, you get exposed really, really quick. You can't you can't blend in out there. So I love that part of it. Uh, you know, whereas in some years, I remember when 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 Chad Morris came in here that first spring, we, we had no wideouts, and I, I thought he was going to jump in Lake Hartwell out here. Uh, you know. And we had them coming, but they weren't here till the summer. And uh, same thing when Coach V first got here, we we didn't have any DBs. Uh, they, they, it was a very thin spring. So, uh, and 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 he's trying to cover Sammy Watkins and, and Martavis and all those dudes uh, right out of the gate. So, uh, th but we don't really have that scenario. This is a very balanced group, about the same amount of experience on both sides with our with our first groups, and so that's really making it. A lot of fun, and uh, a lot of young guys getting a bunch of a bunch of work. And five days in, uh, we've really tried to focus more on the fundamentals than the installation. Uh, we, we've we've probably not installed at the same rate that we would have in the in the past with a little more veteran group. But we really, just want to uh, you know, technically uh, and fundamentally, you know, make sure we've got a great foundation um, as we come out of this spring. But. You know, we got one more good day on Wednesday, and that'll also be faculty day for us. So hopefully, we'll have a good turnout for that, and then, you know, just meetings on Tuesday and Thursday, and then let them go for uh, spring break. Is there anything? Is there anything that's going on the first five days that really surprises you? Where you're like, gosh, I didn't expect that. Will it be good? Will it be not so good? A player that's really wow. I mean, uh, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. I didn't expect that. <laughs> There you go. That's what you asked me. I guess I answered. Hunter Renfro. Uh, he's he's uh, he's been tremendous as a both as a wide out and you know we're kind of looking for a second punter and shoot he might be able to compete to be the first punter. I mean he's he's really talented. Uh, so we just threw him out there today to see how he could do and he he really really jumped out there. So uh, uh, you know he he's a guy that that I think is kind of. I don't know if necessarily surprised anybody. That's why we recruited him. We knew he was a talented young man, but but maybe where he is right now after after six months in our program, gained 20 pounds later and things like that, uh, just really uh, very encouraged. Uh, he, he'll help our football team uh, through five days. How have you, anything you noticed about Tony that's different than Coach Morris? Just in the way that they no, run? they're totally different as far as you know people. I mean, that's we talked. I think I was talking to Chris about that the other day. You know, just Everybody's got to be who they are, their own personalities, and, and uh, everybody's got different ways of, of doing things. But schematically, and as far as you know, just who we are, that's all the same. You know, just different voice uh, between he and Jeff out there. But it's it's great. It's good. Will his, will his life be easier, or just different in terms of because he mans the running backs, whereas of course, of course with Morris, I mean, he's, he's working. Uh, the coaching's coaching. You know, everybody's got a job to do. Everybody's got. They're plate full, uh, and when you're coordinating on top of it, it doesn't matter what you're coaching. It's, it's a, it's a lot of work. Uh, so, um, you know, he's uh, we're, we're we're very well structured, though. I really like 
you know, the, the, the personnel that we have in place staff-wise. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, Streeter's done an excellent job, you know, to this point with those quarterbacks. And, and um, you know, Tony Jeff doing a great job coordinating, sitting in the meetings and, and just kind of listening to, to the direction as far as, you know, how we do things in the meetings as well. Because, uh, again, different voice things are, uh, uh, you know, just go about business sometimes a little differently. But uh, the message is the same. Right. Now, I mean, everybody uh, talking about a drop off or whatnot, but a lot of the guys that uh, we have coming back, they played a lot of football. So I don't really see much of a drop off occurring. So, I mean, we'll, we won't have really. We had a number one defense last year. We want to duplicate that. How much will it fall on the secondary just because of who you guys do have back? Um, they, they want the secondary to be a, a big part of it, but I mean, we all uh, come together. How do you replace Robert Smith? What uh, you guys? Robert, uh, he, he he really does at the game. He has a great mental uh, component to the game. He brings a, that uh, aspect to the uh, defense and whatnot. So you want to uh, learn and try and get out of us to uh, watch more film, just uh, duplicate that. What's the most important thing you learned uh, last year? What do you draw the most from last year? Oh, just the energy, going hard. The, the older guys, the leaders of the defense last year, you know, they always was – they were big on going hard and finishing and whatnot. So that was that's really what we dropped. Right? You, you join with them and look at your film from last year versus the previous year. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you really got better? Um, did you I, take that big step? Uh, my man technique. I, every year I try to improve on my man technique. Last year uh, I really focused on that over the summer, and that's why I think it improved. Sand. Still feeling pretty good about what's going on out there? Oh, yeah, Re feeling real good, especially after the day. You know, we came out and dominated. You know, everybody's gelling together and we're looking good. So I definitely feel good right now. Here, the secondary is kind of having its way out there. Is, is that what's happening? I mean, we're battling. You know, our receivers are challenging us and we're challenging them. I mean, that's how we make each other better, you know. Iron sharpens iron. I mean, we're making them better and they're making us better. You know, they're critiquing us and we're critiquing them. You know, so by the time game time comes, when we get to the fall season, I mean, it's easier for us because we know things that can tip the defense off or we know things that can tip the offense off because we're helping each other. Somebody told me the other day that McKenzie just doesn't have any competition out here. Does having a guy like him make everybody better? Oh, it definitely does. I mean, having a guy who can shut down one side of the field definitely helps your defense out. I mean, he's just out there. I mean, he's just battling. I mean, he had a nice competition today with him and Mike Williams. Him and Artavis are going at it. I mean, it's just been a very competitive stream since we started from day one. How about that other cornerback spot? Who's standing out to you? I mean, we have a lot of guys out there, I mean, just competing. I mean, you got guys like Quadrell. You got guys like Ryan Carter, a guy who was way back. And now <laughs> Ryan Carter is really, really stepping up and making plays for us. I mean... I'm proud to see him making plays like that, you know, because he came in with me, and, you know, just that bond that we have. I mean, seeing him go out there and make plays like he's been making, I mean, it's, I'm very proud of him. We know about you and, and TJ and Jadar, but is there a fourth person starting to make their way known in that safety spot? I mean, you got guys like, you know, Koreans coming back from the nickel position, going back to the safety position. I mean, we just got everybody. I mean, everybody who's running with the ones, twos, or threes. I mean, we're out there competing. I mean, right now, just trying to get everybody comfortable so, you know, if one person goes down, the next person can step right up and take it from there.